Hey guys, good evening. Tonight we are talking about ways to pop color into your space that are really unexpected, not paint. This morning I woke up to an article from Domino Magazine. If y'all don't follow Domino, you guys have to go do that. They are really one of my favorite inspirations for um, my favorite publications for inspiration. I feel like they're really on trend and they're casual and cheerful and colorful. All the things that I aspire to be as a designer, Domino Magazine, go follow them. Online, let's go. This article that I woke up to is called, it's right here, No One Ever Said Your Hardware Has to Blend In. That's right. A, can I get an amen? No one ever said your hardware had to blend in. Now, we're talking more about than just hardware on, on tonight. But when you scroll down, let's go. Number one. They found a company that has colorful light switches. It's called the Conrad Shop. Y'all, look at this. They have all of these colors and light switches. I have to be honest, when I'm on a construction site, this has happened so many times in life, and the electrician says, Kim, what color uh, plates do you want for the switches, even though it's specified on the plans? I would always say white. I mean, right off the bat, I say white. Here is the, like, the world is your oyster with color. Look at this. There are so many different colors. They are based out of the UK, so it looks like lead time is 12 to 14 weeks. You cannot go grab them off the shelf, so you have to put some thought into this beforehand. But what an exciting opportunity to do something unexpected. Now, if you're going to do this, you probably want to make sure the, the, the walls are something either contrasting or you could blend in the paint color with the light switch and have this really beautiful integrated solution. Love that. Number two, let's go. This company is called Reform. So re look at these beautiful cabinets. We're seeing a lot of graphic punch in design right now and a lot of open-mindedness to colorful cabinetry. Reform has a solution for pairing an IKEA system called the Sektion system they have this, uh, a new design called Match. Now these doors are made to go in front of, to be a, a attached to the Sektion system from Ikea. You go into this and it's called the Match system. So they have taken, these are basically can be applied to the Ikea drawer fronts and door cabinets. Beautiful solution. I love how you can pick your own colors and have a really integrated solution for cabinets. Isn't this beautiful? Love, love, love. Now, they're using a countertop material that is used in a lot of commercial spaces, so that's also great. I just love the pops of color. So unexpected and different. Isn't that beautiful? Number three, wash basins. This is a company out of Mallorca, Spain. Now, I went to Mallorca, Spain when I was working with Cosentino and Silestone on product development for some of their countertop colors. Hugo is a really beautiful company that has a lot of different terrazzos, and we love, love, love terrazzo. All of us designers out there love terrazzo right now. I'm actually specking a terrazzo um, from Ann Sachs for a vision center, one of my clients uh, up in Fort Worth. But Hugo, Domino is suggesting this company for these sinks. These wash basins, y'all, will literally make your eyeballs pop out of your head. This is beautiful. I'm so excited to see this. Look at this. This sink is absolutely stunning. Absolute kind eye candy, perfect for something like an ice cream shop. It's just so happy. This I would totally put in our bathroom. Just something unique and different. You guys, this is why I, I continue to be inspired in design, and this is the kind of stuff that makes me excited to continue designing. Um, integrated sinks with the countertop is a really good solution in terms of um, durability and just cleanliness. It's so much easier to clean like this right here. I love how they popped in a little uh, space for a plant holder. How clever and thoughtful is that? Love this. Now, and this is a beautiful shot. The faucets are even so nice, but I just like how they've integrated plants into the system. Um, so there you go. Now, number four is this lighting company called In Common With. This is a fixture called the up and down sconce. I like the idea of this from a functionality standpoint. The down task light is obviously offering functionality for task, but the up light is giving you an ambient glow on the wall, so it really becomes a piece of art. This comes in five different colors. It looks like they have black, bone, which is nice, red, which looks more burgundy to me, 
a green, I love this green, very 70s, all the kind of 70, 70s vibes that I love. And then peach, this is a really nice solution. Now, I think this, this is really exciting. Look at you guys. These, now, if you don't want to commit to something like a sink basin that's hard to tear out, just do light fixtures. Colorful light fixtures in your bathroom or kitchen is such a nice way to give it character and personality. Now, number five, they are suggesting colorful appliances. Y'all, I have talked about colorful appliances before on the channel. Go to Blue Star Cooking and build your own Blue Star. You can literally pick a refrigerator, a cooktop range, and they have over 750 colors all the colors you could ever possibly want in and now I built this this solution but you go in here let's pick you know French door we pick a 36 inches we put color on it maybe you want to go go big or go home and pick like a canary or marigold color let's do that wow beautiful mind-blowing love this you guys commit to something this will literally be a conversation piece in your house forever and ever and ever amen and then you can even pick the trim i think copper and yellow is beautiful together so let's leave it at that amazing solutions you don't have to stick to stainless steel in fact stainless steel appliances are kind of old just not they're out right now this company vola i found them at a trade show two years ago. I love, they're very Scandinavian in style and they have all of these different fixtures, um, faucet colors. Look at this. Now they also have um, soap, integrated soap dispensers and hand showers. And so you can really set up your whole system to be a colorful solution in your bathroom. We actually just spec'd this blue, electric blue for an Airstream client. And this was really nice because this is a very small faucet in terms of profile. So it's a great faucet for small space living. Um, it's just not bulky. And sometimes the faucets get too tall and they're, they hit the mirror and just a nice small faucet profile is perfect for a small space solutions. Let's carry on. The next company that Domino is recommending is called Nude Co. And they have a concrete wash basin sink that is beautiful. I love the organic shape of this sink. It's actually just so stunning and it's concrete. So this is a, it's not a bad price point for a really um, statement piece, $990. It, and then it comes in all these different colors. And then they're, you know, like I said, it's out of concrete. So really beautiful. I love how concrete adds an organic earthy tone in your in your bathroom or your kitchen, but I would say this is more of a bathroom sink. Let's go to this picture that they have as an inspiration. Y'all, design is all about following the lines and, and how shapes and things play against each other. So I wanna point this out because we're here. This arched top mirror with the arched oval pill basin with the, the steel legs that are rounded on the corners. Kudos to whoever designed this because they followed some lines that really just kind of, if you notice, it just keeps your eye bouncing around the bathroom. Job well done. Let's go to the next one. Hafel is a hardware company out of America and they have just about every piece of hardware you would ever need. Closet systems, cabinet hardware, all sorts of hinges and handles and things that you don't even see behind the cabinets. But these are pools and they're a really nice solution if you're not wanting to commit to something too expensive in terms of adding color into your space. Hardware is like the place where you dip your toes. It's, it's low cost, low budget. You don't have to make a big dent. You can change it out. You don't have to hire someone. Just be sure that you match the spacing on the hardware that's existing so you don't have to putty any holes in your cabinet doors. But this is such a great solution and it's super easy. They have, look, look at all these different colors, tons of colors. They have three different lengths and then you've got to match that whole spacing like I mentioned. And they are specking in millimeters so you'd want to be sure you're matching with your inches. But great ideas here over at Domino. And that's it, you guys. I love all of these unexpected ideas for bringing in color into your space in non-intimidating ways and unexpected ways. 
like I said, just dip your toes if you're like afraid of color and you're not sure where to go. I would say pick one of these ideas and see how it goes. If you're daring, pick three. Uh, but you don't want color in every single fixture. So be sure there's a hierarchy to and some thought and intention on where you're putting the color because that is indirectly, that's exactly where your eye is going to go. And so you want to make sure you're being thoughtful where the color goes. But have fun with it. If you learn nothing else from my channel, please just learn that color is Color is fun. You do not have to be afraid of it. There's no reason to be afraid of it. Life is too short for beige. So splash some color in your kitchen or bathroom. Now I'm going to end with a little bit of a life update. As I mentioned last week, this Saturday and Friday and Saturday, I went to Houston and spoke at the West University Baptist Church Women's Retreat. And it was such a special weekend for me because um, just having two under two babies right now has been a lot. I'm at home a lot more than I used to be. I used to travel all the time. I'm still running my company. And so it was just nice to be out of the house, even away from the babies, just a little bit to like regroup and to just be myself and to also be around other women who are going through similar things. And so I spoke at that uh, retreat Friday night and Saturday night. We are going to share what I shared with the women on the YouTube channel in the hopes that some of you will watch and be encouraged and just keep that conversation going um, in terms of women supporting women. And I also shared my testimony on there, which is a pretty crazy one for these 38 years that I've been living. And so I hope you'll watch it. On the way home from Houston, we were driving on 290, and there was this older gentleman cowboy who had three longhorns, and it was so cute. He had this big old sign on the side of the road that said, photo ops for $10 was sitting on the longhorn. So naturally, Joey and I, being the adventurous spirits that we are, he slammed the brakes and should we do it? And I said, yeah. He swerved in. We got our picture with the babies on top of a longhorn, only in Texas y'all only in texas and more power to this uh, this cowboy i love his entre entrepreneurial spirit love 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 him he said that these ten dollar photos help him get through the winter on his farm he makes like 200 to 300 dollars a day isn't that brilliant i just i love the creativity in using what he has to keep uh, sustain his business through the winter so check that picture out here you guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you learned something about color and go subscribe to Domino Magazine and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're working hard to bring this content to you every week on top of everything else we have going on, but it's just really fun and we love it. And we will see you next week. Good night.